Hello guys. Until now, I have explained about various concepts. That is, when resistors are connected in series or parallel, you know how to reduce the circuit. And at the same time, you know what is KVL, what is KCL, and how to apply KVL and KCL in order to find unknown parameter. And at the same time, we discussed about current division, voltage division, and power in a parallel circuit and power in a series circuit. Now in this session, we are going to solve some problems based on the concept which we have discussed in our previous videos. Now in any one problem, we may use one or more than one concept which we discussed. For example, in this problem, we may use uh, re resistors connected in parallel and series and we may use the current division and voltage division concept at a time in a single problem. For example, here in problem one, we need to find the total current in a circuit. Now you need to understand here there is a voltage source and here there are four resistors are connected R1, R2, R3, R4. Now see here you can understand some current IT current is coming here, the total current. Now this total current will is going to divide into how many parts? Three parts as per what? As per KCL. This is my I1 and this is my I2 and this is my I3. Now what you have to find, you need to find total current IT. Okay, we are interested only IT, not about I1, I2, I3. So for that reason, first you need to find R equivalent. Now R equivalent, this R2, R3, R4 are connected what? Parallel. So you already familiar with this concept. So 1 by R equivalent equal to 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 plus 1 by R4. This is the formula to convert what? To find R equivalent. So 1 by R equivalent equal to 1 by R2 means how much? 4 plus R3 means 2 and R4 means 4. Now what is LCM here? 4. If I write 4 here, one time. If I write 4 here, 2 ones and 2 fours plus 2. If I write 4 here, 4 ones and 4 ones, 1. Now 1 by R equivalent equal to this one. Now 1 by R equivalent equal to 4 by 4. Therefore, you are you will get R equivalent equal to what? 1 home. Can we redraw the circuit? Yes. For each step, what we have to do, you need to redraw the circuit so that the circuit will become what? Very easy to understand. Okay. Now, instead of these three resistors, I am going to write one resistor with the value of one ohm. So, you already have one resistor and that is connected in where? In series. Now, this is what? 30 volts. Now, see here, these two resistors are connected in series. Therefore, you can write R equivalent for this 5 plus 1, this is what? 6 ohm. Now, instead of these two resistors, can I replace one resistor with the value of what? 6 ohm. Yes. Now, this is my simplified circuit. After applying what? After applying resistors connected in series and parallel concept, I get this one. Now, what you have to find? You need to find I total, total current in the circuit. So, as per Ohm's law, V equal to IR, you can find current I equal to what? V by R. Now, what is the source voltage here? 30. And what is the R equivalent or resistance here? 6. So, 6 ones and 6 fives. Therefore, I equal to what? 5 ampere. So, this one you can also call it as what? IT. So, this is the total current flowing. How much is the 5 ampere current is flowing in this circuit? So, in this problem, I didn't ask what is I1, I2, I3. If I ask I1, what you have to do? Simply, this is what my 5 ampere. This is my node, right? So here 5 ampere, this total current is going to divide into how many parts? Two parts. I1 plus I2 plus I3. Yes or no? However, these three elements are connected in parallel. So therefore, voltage is same. Now you will submit uh, I1, V1, V by R, V by R, R2, V by R3, something like that. And you will find it. However, we are not interested about finding I1, I2, I3 in this problem. Now see what is the second problem here. Now here you have a voltage source 
and one home resistor and there are a few more resistors are connected in series and parallel now what you need to find here see first thing you need to find total current drawn from the battery that means you need to find it okay now in order to find it as per ohms law what is it it equal to v by r so here you need to know the voltage you already know the source voltage is what 10 and you need to find r equivalent of this circuit so if you know you already know the source voltage vs and if you know r equivalent then it is what easy to find current total current in the circuit okay clear this is what first thing you need to find and what about the second one you need to find voltage across two ohm resistor now see this is what two ohm resistor you need to find voltage drop across two ohm resistor this is your second thing and third one is what current passing through five ohm resistor so current passing through five ohm resistor okay so these are the three things you need to find now first we will go for one by one first i am interested to find it in order to find it i need to simplify this circuit so i need to write r equivalent so here we have four resistors are connected in uh, connected in the circuit you need to find r equivalent now see here this 7 and 5 ohm are connected in parallel so can i replace one can i replace one resistor with these two values of course why not now r equivalent equal to what 7 parallel to 5 so you know formula right 1 by r equivalent equal to 1 by 7 plus 1 by 5 or simply you can write r equivalent equal to suppose if you consider this is your r1 and this is your r2 you can write r1 into r2 by r1 plus r2 now here r1 means what 7 r2 means 5 by 7 plus 5 so here 7 into 5 35 and this is what 12 now if you cancel this one you will get a 2.91 ohm 2.91 ohm now see instead of these two resistors can i replace only one resistor with the value of 2.91 ohm of course now see here this is my simplified circuit 2.91 ohm and this is my 2 ohm resistor and here you have what 1 ohm now this is our battery 10 volt okay now see after each step if you rewrite the circuit the circuit seems what very simple now see this 2 and 2.91 are connected in what in series therefore 2 plus 2.91 means what 4.91 ohm now instead of these two resistors can i replace one resistor with the value of what 4.9 of course now here you have what one voltage source with the value of 10 now here you have one ohm here you have what 4.91 ohm now these two 4.91 and this one ohm are connected in parallel right now see here now r equivalent equal to what 4.91 into 1 by 4.91 plus 1 yes or no yes now if you calculate this one 4.91 by 5.91 therefore r equivalent for the 4.91 and 1 ohm will be 0. 83 ohm s or no yes now if you rewrite this circuit one more time finally you have what only one resistor with the value of 0.93 and you have one battery with the value of 10 volt now what you need to find you need to find the total current it now therefore from here it equal to what vs by r equivalent now you already find r equivalent right r equivalent equal to 0.83 so vs means 10 by 0.83 therefore if you cancel this one it equal to you will get 12 ampere okay approximately 12 ampere now see what i did here so in order to find it first i need to find r equivalent therefore resistors are connected in series and parallel by using that concept finally i found r equivalent equal to 0.83 from that i find i total okay the first one is completed now what is the second one 
you need to find voltage drop across to home to home resistor now see until now i didn't use what voltage division concept right now see this 10 ohm observe this circuit this is our simplified circuit right now here what we have 10 volt now you these two terminals are connected what in parallel yes or no in parallel that means what is the voltage drop across this one ohm 10 volt and what is the voltage drop across this terminal a and b suppose here this is terminal a and this is terminal c so if i ask you what is the voltage drop across a and c you will say voltage drop across a and c is what 10 volt yes or no yes so i hope you understood i already explained voltage division concept when elements are connected in parallel the voltage is same now see this for this 10 volt this one this terminal and terminal a and c are connected parallel therefore voltage drop across one ohm is 10 volt voltage drop across a and c is 10 ohm but now between a and c terminal you have two resistors what is the total voltage drop here one minute i will change the color so that you will understand now what is the total voltage drop between a and c is what 10 volts now see now this 2 ohm and 2.91 ohm are connected in series that means voltage will be get divided now this is the total voltage 10 this 10 volt will get divided into two parts at 2 ohm and at 2.91 now we we know the formula of voltage division right now you need to find voltage between one and two terminal okay voltage between two ohm now what is the voltage division formula total voltage what is the total voltage of this terminal 10 into where you are finding voltage you are finding voltage at 2 ohm therefore 2 by the equivalent resistance of this terminal 2 plus 2.91 sr now 2 plus 2.91 ohm so if you don't know how to write this formula so you please uh, uh, check our voltage division concept so that i have explained this formula how to write it and how to derive it okay now see here voltage 2 ohm equal to 10 into 2 by 4.91 suppose if you cancel this one you will get voltage at 2 ohm equal to approximately it is equal to 4 it is approximately equal to what 4 volt now what is the total voltage between a and c 10 volt now i want to find whether this is correct or wrong so if i find voltage across 2.91 then if I add these two terminal voltage, then that one will be equal to 10 volt. Yes or no? Yes. Now voltage across 2.91. What is the voltage division formula? First, you need to write total voltage. What is the total voltage? 10 into where you are finding voltage now at a 2.91 resistor. Therefore, 2.91 by the equivalent resistance of this terminal. 2 plus 2.91. So if you can if you cancel this one you will get what approximately 6 volt now see the voltage drop across 2 ohm is 4 the voltage drop across 2.91 is what 6 if you add 4 plus 6 that is equal to 10 volts now what is the voltage drop across a and c terminal 10 volt now see these two are connected in parallel so this is what 10 volt now see here until now we have used resistor connected in series and parallel concept and also you have used what the voltage division concept now what you have to find the third one current passing through 5 ohm resistor current passing through 5 ohm resistor now see what is the total current passing here total current is what 12 ampere yes or no 12 ampere so from this voltage source how much current is passing 12 ampere now this 12 ampere will go in this way and here in this way now i want to find how much current is flowing through one ohm resistor yes or no so here you, you can understand this is the 12 ampere current this 12 ampere current will go here and this 12 ampere current some of the current will go in this direction now i want to find how much current is flowing at the 5 ohm resistor yes or no so in order to find that uh, that first i want to find the current flowing in the one ohm resistor 
so current flowing at one ohm resistor what is the formula v by r so what is the voltage across one ohm 10 because this is connected parallel therefore 10 by what is the resistance 1 this is what 10 ampere see out of 12 ampere 10 ampere current is flowing throughout the one one ohm resistor now how much current is flowing in this way of course the remaining 12 minus 10 2 2 ampere current is flowing here now see this 2 ampere current will come here now this 2 ampere come current is coming here now this 2 ampere current some of the current will go in this way and some of the current will go into the 5 ohm resistor now see can i use voltage division concept of course now by using uh, sorry current division concept because you need to find current where current at 5 ohm resistor now what is the current division concept the total current flowing to the circuit now you should not consider 12 ampere because what is the total current at this point 2 ampere this is the total current flowing into 7 ohm and 5 ohm resistor okay now where you are finding current you are finding current at 5 ohm resistor as per current division formula you should not write 5 ohm the opposite resistor what is the opposite resistor 7 by now the sum of the resistance the total total resistance 7 plus 5 7 plus 5 now if you cancel this one you will get the current flowing at 5 ohm resistor is what 1.16 ampere okay now here i have used current division concept as well now i want to find whether this answer is correct or wrong so see what is the total current flow flowing here 2 ampere in the 2 ampere 1.16 ampere is flowing here now out of 2 minus 1.16 what is the remaining the remaining current is what the remaining current is 0.83 yes or no yes so if 0.83 current ampere current is flowing at 7 ohm resistor then our answer is correct so shall we find by using current division concept yes now i want to find current flowing at 7 ohm resistor now what is the total current total current is what 2 ampere into now you are finding current flowing at 7 ohm the opposite resistor 5 by the total resistance 7 plus 5 okay 7 plus 5 now if you cancel this one you will get 0.83 ampere so now see if you add 0.83 1.16 that is equal to 2 ampere now the assumption is correct now here what i have explained first thing this is the circuit we have given i find r equivalent now this is my simplified circuit from that i find it clear now the next thing i need to find voltage across two ohm resistor here okay now these two terminals now this is our simplified circuit these two are connected parallel so the voltage across between a and c terminal is what 10 so i have used voltage division concept and i find what voltage across two ohm resistor then i need to find current passing through 5 ohm resistor so first i know already 12 ampere current is the total current so here in that i find the current flowing at 1 ohm so that is 10 ampere therefore the remaining current is what 2 ampere current is flowing between a and c therefore i have used current division concept and by using that concept i have found current flowing through what 5 ohm and 7 ohm resistor in one problem i have used various concept current division voltage division and at the same time what resistors connected in series and parallel i hope you understood this concept thank you thank you so much